Today, I'm gonna to show how I took these basic correction kits from looking like this. What is that? To this, while only using bits. Now, if you follow this channel for a while, you are very aware of the extensive amount of kit bashing I've done for my custom orc army. I can confidently say that it wasn't exactly cheap. From getting the right bits to sculpting the right model. No, don't touch that. To fitting a certain theme you're going for, Kit bashing can get very expensive. Now this is perfectly fine, you can definitely do this and I could definitely do this if I was willing to spend that much money. But let's just say my bank account doesn't really like it when I do. What? All I did was look at it! So this video is not only going to be showing you the final product, the finished product and everything I actually got out of kit bashing this quite large squad, but it's also going to be showing you the steps and processes I went through from turning my Gretchen and making them even more Gretchenier. Gretchenier? Gretchen more Gretchen. The first step in making my dream mad lad Gretchen squad was to debase them. And let's just say this took a bit of time. Some came off easy, some not so much. Oh no. Eventually I had all of them separated and I was ready to actually start on the models. Now you might be looking at this and feeling like it's a bit lame because they're well just Gretchen. There really isn't anything like stupidly amazing about them and if anything they're quite bland in terms of model flavor and what you can actually do with them when kit bashing. But I'm actually using this video not only as a bit of a you know way to show off my Gretchen but also as a way of kind of teaching a fundamental lesson and that is you don't need to put ding, hours and ding, hours and ding, hours and ding. hours to make an actually good looking kit bash result. Basically, you don't need to make a good looking kit bash to receive a good looking kit bash. And be like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Doing the basics, the fundamentals, the easy things, the switching out weapons, skulls, basic printing, even just putting like, I don't know, a sword on the back of them can actually have a huge impact on the way your army feels, looks, and the thematic theme of that. Now I'm not saying that you shouldn't be doing these big kit bashes that takes up time, money, and energy, but sometimes doing the basics, the bare minimum, and very small kit bashes to certain things can actually have a massive result in what they look like. So I'm not saying, once again, don't do intense kit bashing, but keep in mind that doing the basics can actually receive really good results. Anyways, I began sculpting my Gretchen models, and I used all the bodies and spare heads off the squig hopper set I used to make my original feral storm boys and all the spare bits i found of that i was actually incorporating to make well gretchen to get that savage crazy look and feel i wanted in the models i was creating you see one thing i don't really like about the original gretchen kit is they're all standing there in line holding guns like soldiers even though soldiers is the exact opposite of what gretchen actually are <laughs> care they're crazy they're insane they run around they swing off things they break things they break rules and they're generally just undisciplined little runts and i really wanted to incorporate this in the actual kit bash all the gretchen i was going to kit bash need to be doing something they need to be either swinging holding something looking at something or hey even just running around as it's what adds that flavor and element of that kind of that crazed feral aspect i was looking for and a lot of the bodies in the squig hopper set because they were obviously riding squigs before already had like that bounding leaping crazy theme to them so all i really had to do was build off them the sad part is i actually did run out of the bodies and heads from the squig hopper set even though i really wanted to make a lot of the gretchen look like that obviously this is a bit kit bash so whatever i have i use beggars can't be choosers especially in this situation so I began sculpting other Gretchen models using hand positions, swinging positions, spare prime bits, and body positions and the way they were kind of oriented with the terrain around them to get the feel and vibe I was looking for for like that feral bounding Gretchen look. After like an hour of sculpting and building, I realized like a freaking dumbass that I already had plenty of old models that incorporated Gretchens in these weird funky positions and all I had to do was strip them and used the Gretchen, and it took me an hour to realize this. So I stripped the war bikers, and the storm boys, and flash kits, and generally just really any models I could find of other kits of their Gretchen, and incorporate their weird, funky, already like kind of pre-positioned, crazy position into my Gretchen squad. And from there, it was pretty much just a slow jog, you know, the basic kind of incorporate. I'm not gonna bore you, because honestly, a lot of kit bashing YouTubers do this, so I just kind of take you through every single step, but I'm gonna be honest, this part was boring. It was just me assembling basic Gretchen models, doing basic hand snipping, and pretty much just copying and pasting every other step I had up until then. Now, towards the end, I was kind of losing a bit of passion for the models I was creating. And you can easily see this in kind of like the contrast between the very start models 
and the very end model. The start models have a lot of love, effort poured into them. The end models, not so much. But I'm honestly pretty sure that every aggression I did had some decent amount of effort poured into them to have either the base, the positioning, the sculpt, or even just the general like snipping of hands, heads, and torsos in some cases. A lot of effort was poured into those processes. But eventually, after four or like three or maybe even five hours of snipping, sculpting, grinding, yes, grinding, and tons of other dumb kit bashing things I have to learn on the spot, I had finally finished all 20 Gretchen's. All of them had been kit bashed, their heads had been in place, the bodies were in position, the super glue had finally dried so all the positions had set, and I was finally finished with my Gretchen all 20 models finished. But as I began packing up and putting away all the gear I had used, I noticed the two run herds sitting on my desk. And at that moment, I was about to forcefully introduce intimacy between the wall and my fist. I was so focused on making the Gretchen, the Savage Bounding themed Gretchen, that I had no clue what I was gonna do with these two run herds. I probably should just leave them, but I knew deep down inside, obviously, I wasn't going to leave them. I was going to make them my own way. I just didn't know how I was going to do it. And that's when I remembered that my weird boy, pain boy, boss knob, and tons of other accessories on other malls I wasn't using anymore were currently not being used. And if you can piece together where I'm going with this, I had an idea of what I was going to do. Now, I didn't actually get any footage of me building these two run herds because, well, I'm an idiot. But let's just say that they ended up looking like this, and I'm pretty happy with the actual way they turned out. And once all those malls had finally been constructed and the superglue had set, voila, my Gretchen were done. Now, these models, I had a fantastic time building. Honestly, it's probably one of the funnest projects I've ever done because there wasn't much pressure. Everything I was doing was very much planned out, and it wasn't like if I failed, it would be a massive deal. Obviously, I didn't want to fail. I didn't want to like mess up any Gretchen. I didn't want to mess up the runt herd. But it felt like there wasn't as much pressure because these guys aren't necessarily a centerpiece. They're quite a basic model. But I think that mindset towards like have putting like, oh, you know, I don't have to worry about it as much actually made the result much, much better. I'm actually going to incorporate this mindset plenty more when I'm doing my future kit back to maybe like other models in my army. The theme of being a stupid, undisciplined Gretchen perfectly suits the way that my Gretchen actually turned out. And the run herds them to obviously the run herd on the left. I don't have names for these guys. So I'm just calling them left and right. The run herd on the left with a power syringe and power claw perfectly kind of utilizes the idea of a feral running around with a power claw, stabbing Gretchen, making them a bit more hyped up, ready to go. And obviously the run herd on the left incorporates the idea of like brute run herd force, forcing the Gretchen into a certain demand, even when they're kind of like all over the place. And obviously Mozrog's snake bite like logo on the back sums up the whole point of the Gretchen perfectly. I thought it was a perfect addition. And obviously because I ripped off his backpack to replace it with other models he had a big hole in his back and we couldn't have that so slap that on perfect to go and yeah these guys are going to make a fantastic addition to my custom orc army but that's going to be the video if you guys really like enjoyed this kind of content where i talk about my kit bashing the process i went through and how it's performed and my overall army and like over time how it's solely assembled tell me i have no idea if you guys like this or not you left tons of feedback on my previous kit bashing video where I talked about like how I made my entire army, the process I made, and the kind of lore I made around my kit bash units. You guys seem to like that. So if you want to see more of that, if you want to see me incorporating these kind of kit bashing, talking about how I make the models and the process I go through them, tell me. But if you don't want to see it and you think it's lame, I should keep it to myself, tell me that too. I love feedback. I think it's really important. But if you do leave that kind of negative feedback, I'm probably going to make it anyway because I just love doing this. So yeah, you get my point. I have plenty more kit bashes to make. Gazgold's bodyguards, they can't just stay flash kits, and they definitely can't just stay mega knobs. I've got to make my very own incorporation of, well, Beast Nagger plus Bad Moon bodyguards. Obviously, they're going to be a quite a large centerpiece, so I've got to make them look really good, and there's going to be a bit of money poured into them. Not too much, obviously, probably like maximum 50 bucks, but like, maybe even more than that, but you get the point I'm trying to say. If you want to see me talking about the process I make through that, how I go through that, like, basically, if I should go through that, put it on YouTube, or I just keep it to myself, Tell me down below. But I yap too much of these YouTube outros because I don't actually put a script for these outros. I was kind of making up on the spot. Point being, if you like this video, leave a like. Do all the cool YouTube stuff. Honestly, peace.